Hello and welcome to Class Solutions Tech. Before we get into a deep dive about the Jenkins Docker series, I will discuss what Jenkins is and why we need Jenkins. We will also explore the need for Jenkins in DevOps. So what is Jenkins as you can see on my screen right here? Jenkins is basically an open source tool written in Java that is used for continuous integration. So Jenkins is an execution engine supporting the complete development lifestyle of software and it aids in building, testing and deploying software. With Jenkins, you can create builds of your software necessary for your deployment. The process of creating the build is called building and Jenkins supports this. So Jenkins also supports the testing of software by triggering automated tests. Jenkins is a feature-rich application with third-party plugins available. These plugins enhance Jenkins functionality, making it a valuable tool. Jenkins also aids organization of bug-free and fast delivery of product. Now, why do you need Jenkins? Jenkins plays a crucial role in the continuous integration flow. It automates local test execution, integrating processes like build, test, and deployment. Jenkins saves deployment time by automating test case execution. So developers don't need to manually execute tests, so Jenkins handles that for you. Jenkins also supports configurable workloads triggered manually or on code commit. So the complete workflow from building to deployment is automated by Jenkins. So this automation eliminates the need of manual intervention, ensuring efficiency. So Jenkins can build, it can test, it can deploy code automatically, enhancing the continuous integration process. So another good thing about Jenkins is that Jenkins also notifies you of the successful builds and errors on failure and then Jenkins automates the build process saving delivery time and then also reducing defect. So that being said, Jenkins is a crucial component in DevOps for fast error-free software development. So as we go along in this Docker Jenkins series, we will explore how Jenkins supports software development. We also need to explore Jenkins through the Jenkins page which is jenkins.io so you go to your browser and just type jenkins.io so once you type jenkins.io on your browser just like this jenkins.io just do enter it will bring you to this page all right so you can see part of the things i've also explained earlier on you can see it here it says the leading open source automation server jenkins provides hundreds of plugins to support building, deploying, and automating any project. So, if you are going to be learning Jenkins through this course, then it is important I recommend you to go through this Jenkins page and read some of the documentations that we have here. So, you click on this documentation page. Once you click here, you see the drop down, click on user guide. And then, once you get into this place, you see user and book overview so you add a whole lot of things you know that you can read about you know using jenkins pipelines blue ocean managing jenkins so this is a whole lot of stuff for you to read so i'll encourage you to go through these documentations you also have plugins you can search for plugins right here you have blogs you can see latest news about jenkins so for simplicity we can say Jenkins is purely an automation server. So what is an automation server? An automation server is a system of software tool that automates various tasks and processes to enhance efficiency, reduce manual intervention, and then improve uh, overall productivity. So these servers are commonly used in the realm of continuous integration, continuous delivery CI, CD, and infrastructure as a code. And these days in the DevOps world, Jenkins is being used a lot for continuous integration 
and for continuous delivery. Don't worry about that. I'm going to explain more about that in the Jenkins Docker series. So we are going to have an entire session, you know, learning continuous integration and continuous delivery. But just keep in mind that once you think about Jenkins, think about, you know, an automation server to automate your task. So in this Jenkins series, we are going to learn how to integrate Jenkins with AWS, Docker, Ansible, Slack, Git, Marvin, and so on. How to create pipelines, continuous integration, and continuous delivery. So all of these are more await you through this entire course. So don't worry if you have never used any of these tools before, like Ansible, Marvin, Docker, and the rest. We got you covered because we are going to cover all of these and they'll be explaining how they are used and then show you like real hands on with a project so you'll be able to understand how they actually work and then i'll explain how to use them and integrate them with Jenkins. so that'll be it for this video join us in the next lesson